women who call their so daddy during sex why my entire sexual life i've always thought this was gross and awkward and the opposite of sexy then i had a baby with my husband the word took on a whole new meaning and the idea of him being the actual father to my child suddenly made calling him daddy really sexy and a total turn on i still think it's weird but it works it's our kind of weird because daddy dom little girl is not that uncommon in the bdsm community and age play is just another kink i've had a few partners who called me daddy and it wasn't necessarily an age play thing even if they don't age play many girls still identify with the little mindset the energy and more than that a growing portion of subs entering the community seem to be drawn to the type that daddies often are the nurturing firm but soft gentle giant types it's not even necessarily a father issues thing so much as that's the kind of person that draws many submissive women lately i have theories about this but nothing solid enough to share i've seen some people distinguish baby girl and little for that reason baby girl to them implies the little energy without the age play element but that differs by person and how they were introduced to the concepts because if you call him grandpa he's liable to smack you in the eye dated a guy named daniel relevant later and i tried to spice it up by calling him daddy he was not turned on and after he asked if i called him daddy and i joked it off and said no danny haha and yeah we didn't bang after that cuz he asked me to it's the same thing as master or sir it's a power dynamic but i never call a guy that unless he says it first my girlfriend was groomed to be in porn as a child and she is kind of in the head from that ordeal she is really into daddy dom little girl stuff sorry that's pretty horrible but that's the truth i totally get it my wife is a rape survivor she also likes to be held down and tied up and to fight me everything we do is consensual and the word stop is absolutely respected people don't get it i guess but i can tell it's something cathartic for her she's doing these things on her terms and taking experience that was traumatic and making it a pleasure i'm fine with it as long as you respect her boundaries and everyone's on the same page do whatever deviant kinky stuff floats your boat girl who's also been raped here you hit the nail on the head with the doing things on her own terms part some people think that rape play is inherently f***ed up i get that for me though it's a way to relive that scenario in a way that gives me the control. I fully understand how this could sound like a paradox, but it's quite empowering. In addition, I don't participate in this kind of play with anyone who would actually violate someone's sexual consent. Called my girlfriend mommy after she called me daddy and while she laughed her ass off and sexy time ended. If y'all stop after laughing you're doing something wrong. Hi, woman here. I've been very into calling a few of my past partners daddy, specifically the ones I view as being more dominant in our relationship. For me it's the power thing. I'm a control freak normally, and I like being able to go full submissive in the bedroom. Calling him daddy is just another term like sir or master, and it has absolutely nothing to do with my actual father or any issues related to him. Daddy, as a term of sexual submission and respect carries more comforting connotations of trust as opposed to master. I think it's hot, and if my partner does, then hell yeah I'll call him daddy. I like my girls calling me Goshujin sama As a man who your question is not directed, my girlfriend called me daddy for the first time just this week and it was hot AF. We both call each other baby but daddy unexpectedly turned me on. Because it is weird to call your parents by their first names, geez. It's a kink. I don't have daddy issues. I come from a relatively normal family. It's a part of BDSM. Whether people realize it or not, I'm submissive. And I prefer my dom to be a daddy dom. Daddy doms, at least the ones I have had, are kinder, sweeter, more about gentle discipline than inflicting mass amounts of pain on submissives. Although that's just my personal experience. As a man it was all good until I heard my daughter say the word for the first time and then the missus and me had an impromptu conference and decided it was off the menu. I dated a Mexican girl, and she would call me poppy. Talk about hot as f My girlfriend calls me daddy when talking to our puppy. Does that count? I've never understand the issue with this. It's a pet name. Ever called someone baby? Are you actually thinking about babies when you say that? Same way girls aren't thinking about their actual dads. I like calling her babe because of the pig. My friend told me a story about her and her boyfriend doing the nasty and during it he asked her who's your daddy.
I shit you not she screamed her actual dad's name in the heat of the moment. One of the best stories I've ever heard. Wait. Me too. Quote. Restrict my airflow. Father figure. Like others said, using the term daddy isn't about visualizing my literal dad, shudder. Rather, it's about emulating a power dynamic between a typically older stern but loving guy and a typically younger sometimes rebellious but ultimately obedient girl. People like these labels because they capture unique nuances about the dynamic. For example, the term daddy implies that the guy is a provider, somebody who lovingly takes care of the girl. It also implies that the girl is relatively innocent. You don't get that specificity with, say, master and slave. Many people argue ew. Doesn't using the term, daddy, make you think of your father? My counter is, no. I'm 20 x years old. I haven't called my father daddy in like two decades. You ever hear one of those 50s songs where the guy calls his love interest mama? It's sort of like that. I might be too late to this threat but, I was dating this girl and she would call me daddy over and over during sex, I didn't think much of it and was pretty indifferent to how it made me feel, but then our relationship carries on and I met her actual dad, and he and I shared a lot of physical qualities, I looked a great deal like him, so that made me suddenly rethink all the time she called me daddy while I was balls deep in her. My ex told me to call him daddy. I obliged because he wanted it and at the time I didn't care too much for it, but I actually ended up liking it. It was more of a domination thing that I didn't know I had until I did it, but I was not thinking about me actual dad really f nasty. It's just power, submission kink. It's not like you're literally pretending to have sex with your dad. That's f weird. I was always pretty self-conscious about this kink until I let it slip to my boyfriend one time and he happened to be really into it. Don't knock it till ya try it. I just want to point out that I had a very healthy relationship with my father. Daddy is so mainstream if you're a real freak you call him Lord Farquaad. Because we're a lesbian couple and it's f***ing hilarious. What about mommy? A few years ago, on the day I was moving into a new apartment, I heard the neighbor next door shouting mommy. Mommy. Oh. Mommy. I thought god damn it. They have a kid. In a studio apartment? Nobody wants to live next door to loud neighbors. Dot dot dot. But then I heard another voice shout you're a dirty girl. During the time it took to unload a truck's worth of boxes and furniture and shuffle it into my new apartment. It became obvious that my neighbors were two women in love. Or at least in lust. I lived next door to them for a year. And the loud sex followed by a fight became a common occurrence. Though sometimes the fight came first. Actually. I think mommy usually came first. Anyway. I never did figure out which one of them was mommy and which one was dirty girl. And that's not the sort of thing one can ask during neighborly chit chat in the elevator. Hi. I'm Neapola. And you must be. Mommy. Or are you dirty girl? Nope. Can't say that. Can't ask either. Nope. God damn. I hate apartments with thin walls. On the other hand. I'm pretty sure those ladies got me laid once. I had a date over one evening and my neighbors started going at it. I was so embarrassed. I turned up the stereo hoping my date wouldn't notice the noise next door. But as the song faded out, we could clearly hear them. Dot dot dot. Oh mommy. I'm so dirty mommy. I'm. I'm. No. Come. Mommy. Come. My date was the sweetest, most adorably shy woman, and she looked horrified. Or, at least, I thought she looked horrified. But I completely misread her facial expression because, a few seconds after the next song kicked in and drowned out the neighbors, my date pretty much jumped me. I love how judgmental everyone in here is. Quit acting like your search history isn't 50x times worse than a girl calling you daddy. How tall is Jesus? I asked my girlfriend this once and she said it's because she wanted me to be the daddy of her children. I'm guessing this answer isn't universal. Gay guy here. It's not about pretending my boyfriend is my actual father Eu. It's more a term of dominance, like master or sir. Same way he calls me baby and obviously is not referring to me as though I'm an actual infant. I said all the time that this was something I didn't get. There was a friend of mine who was by all accounts my type but for some reason I was never that attracted to her. She was objectively pretty, but just wasn't clicking, for some reason. One day we were talking about this asterisk and I said, I think it's so weird. And she looked at me and said, you don't like it daddy? and my balls jumped and then I got it. This happened to me. I told a girl I thought it was weird, so she'd start saying it to me at the most random of times, and I just suddenly realized it was turning me on. 
it really turns him on, and I love his reaction, also probably because I have daddy issues but shish. Have you ever given it a shot? I used to think it was weird and gross too. Then my girlfriend said it during sex. Hottest thing ever. Now I love it. Also looking at some of your replies. You're cringy as hell bud. Let people enjoy what they want. You enjoy what you want. You don't have to insinuate that people are pedos because they do this.